Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with your networking and that none of the networks previously connected to are in range. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I want to just do would be to open up the search menu, type in device manager. Best result should say device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the network adapter selection in here, and then locate your network connection in here. Double click on it. You want to select the advanced tab, and now go underneath roaming aggressiveness on the left side here. So again, go underneath roaming aggressiveness. If you do not see one in here, you may have to go underneath the other device as well. But if you do see it in here, you would again select roaming aggressiveness. And then on the right side, you click on the drop down and select highest. So it'd be the most aggressive option. So again, if you had a Wi-Fi connection property, you would select roaming aggressiveness on the left side. And then in the right drop down underneath value, you click inside the drop down field and you would select highest. I think it's ranked one to five, one being the lowest, five is the highest. Recommend doing that. And again, you may have to just check if there's another network adapter listed in here. You may just want to just check on that. Again, it would be underneath the advanced tab. So that's the first thing I recommend looking at. Something else we can try here too would be to just reset our network settings back to default. So once you do that, you will need to enter your Wi-Fi credentials once you restart your computer. So just please keep that in mind. You will need to have them nearby. So we're going to go open up the search menu, type in network reset. Best match, we'll come back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now you will be signed out within five minutes. So just go ahead and restart your computer once you've saved and closed out of any open programs or applications here. And then hopefully at this point your issue should have been resolved and you should be able to connect to local Wi-Fi networks within range. If you're using a laptop, try and move your device closer to your router or try and move your router closer to your computer. If you have any Wi-Fi boosters, you may want to look into those as well. So you might have some spots in your house or dwelling that don't have very good reception you might want to take a look at. So that's pretty much it. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.